everybody, I love making music. But did you know you can make music at the dinner table? I'm gonna show you some experiments you might have tried yourself, but I'm gonna show you the science behind them and how you can take them a little bit further. First of all, making music with a bottle. Now, the way you do this is to blow just right over the top of the bottle. Let me have a try. Do you hear that note there, like pan pipes or an organ? Well, that was a good one. So how does this work? Well, the vibrations of my air over the top sets up a vibration and a wave all the way up and down the bottle. That wave, just like on a cello string or in a pipe organ, makes a noise. Now, if I want to tune this, get a different pitch, what do I have to do? Well. You can see there's a bunch of water inside here. That's probably a good thing to experiment with. Let's hear the sound one more time. Now I'm going to tip some water out. Let's see what happens now. Let's hear the sound with less water. It's a lower sound. Ba. It's gone down like a ba to a ba. If you head to our website, you can watch this again and hear that difference. Now, you could of course make a whole lot of different bottles and tune up a whole instrument. But now I want to show you my favourite dinner table musical instrument, and that is of course the singing wine glass. La! Now if you take a wine glass and you pluck it, it has a lovely resonant note, a sound that it makes. But if I want to make music, I need to have that continue. So, all you need to do is wet your finger and just run it. along the top. And what I'm doing here, it's like using a bow on a violin. I'm getting just enough pressure that it vibrates, but not so much that I stop the sound. And the water helps to smooth that out. Now, how do I tune this? Well, this one's empty. So if I add some water, that should make a less air and a higher sound, right? Let's have a try. Pull it up. Have a listen now. It's a lower sound. Why is that? Well, wine glasses are a little bit different. With a wine glass, it's the glass itself that's vibrating. And when I fill it with water, it makes it heavier and bigger, so it vibrates slower. It's a different effect. Science is confusing like that. And of course, what I can do is make a number of different wine glasses and eventually play some music. Let me give that a try. <laughs> so you can set up a whole instrument. It's called a glass harp. And some of them actually have the glasses on little rotating platforms. So they spin for you and all you have to do is put your finger on. So if you try and make one of those, I would love to see it. Hit me up on social media. And of course, if you want to see this episode again, head to our website and check out all those sound effects and watch this and more great hands-on experiments again. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep practicing my music. See you next time.